Zach from Miller here, and welcome back to my video. And today we're covering the metal, the non-metal things I like. Uh, this will include anything that's not metal. So, just if it's not within the realm of like metal, like metal music or metal history, it doesn't count. Now, let's get started. First thing, video games. A few games I picked out were Shadow of War. Fallout. Now, this is 76, this is probably my least favorite Fallout game. I'm not just saying that because it's everybody's opinion. I still like the game, but I like 4 better. 4 is probably my favorite. Borderlands 3. Uh, pretty good game, honestly. And Assassin's Creed Origins, which is empty as a current because I've been playing this one recently. And. Bum -ba -da -da, Spider Man. Uh, at least the, the new Spider-Man game um, that came out in 2018, I think. I don't know. I think it was 2018. I'm not certain, actually. But I, I love these games. I've almost gotten every achievement on this one. I'm planning on getting every achievement on this one. Every achievement on this one. Uh, no, and almost every achievement on this one. Because I've actually played these games a lot. I really love Shadow of War because um, I'm just a huge Lord of the Rings fan, honestly. Fallout's just because I always love like the post, like what would have happened if scenarios. Borderlands, I just I love the comedy, love the art style, love the gunplay. You know, it's interesting. There's you don't get sick of it. Assassin's Creed, I own multiple games of the series. Um, this one you can get sick of, but I personally don't. I really like each installment in the series as it offers something different, and it does actually have history mixed with fictitious things that are very intriguing. And Spider-Man, because you'll see later, but this game's just, even if I didn't, I'd say this game has really good gameplay, and I have another game like it, which is the Batman series. I have Arkham Asylum, City, and Night. I don't have Origins. But uh, Night is my favorite to play through. I've played through it a good five, six times. And yeah, I had fun with it. I've beaten the Spider-Man game on hardest difficulty, which was impressive for me. Next thing, so that, you, so that we can see why. Now these do not fall under Marvel, I don't think any of them. Actually, I think one of them does. Okay, first we got Red Hood and the Outlaws. Next thing I like, Cox. So Red Hood and the Outlaws one because he's uh, he's an anti-hero. He kills. He's badass. He Jesus, that one is strong. Just get the crap on me. Um. Anyways, he's awesome. He's pretty good. Uh, I've liked him since I saw him in Arkham Knight and heard about the concept of him. Next, The Batman Who Laughs. This is probably one of my favorite alternate universe things. Uh, came from the Dark Knight's Metal series, but since then became his own mini comic, uh, which I don't, it, it's probably outrun run at six issues by now. So I'm probably gonna have to look into getting those because it's the only one I own. Deadpool Assassin, Deadpool Assassin, and then Deadpool. The reason I like Deadpool, comedy, funny, uh, I've seen the movie, it's a damn good movie, it's funny. Uh, let me put them back in order, because I have them in a certain order. I have a couple Venom comics, uh, cool Justice League comics, um, Batman and the City of Fear, I think this is what it's called. It's a Scarecrow based comic, which I love Scarecrow. He is probably my favorite Batman villain, even over Joker. Which is uh, not something you usually hear. Next, Abandoned Places. This is a book about abandoned, a uh, little magazine about abandoned places. Uh, shows pictures, tells stories. Now, I don't just like abandoned places. I like the stories they can tell. Uh, I like the legends behind them, the hauntings, the dark history, or even the light history of them, because some have light history. But on the back you can see some, you can see, this one looks like it's a Soviet something or other due to the hammer and sickle on top. That looks chapel-like. 
I want to say that's an oil rig, but I'm not quite certain. And then that is an autopsy table. Yeah, and it basically covers chilling real life location, prisons and asylums, ghost towns and shopping malls, churches and castles. Nice. I'm looking forward to reading more of that. I've only read some of it. Next. HP Lovecraft. Uh, now I have the complete Cthulhu mythos, so this is everything about Cthulhu. This doesn't cover all the Elder Gods, all his lore and stuff. But this is a pretty good book. Uh, I got a Barnes & Noble poster that hangs up on my door. I don't plan on taking that one down. Um, but I think that this is probably one of the coolest, one of the, my favorite books. Um, I liked Cthulhu for a while, the entire drive behind it, the interesting, the abilities, like, you look at him, you go mad. That was always, like, kind of a cool thing. Plus, when I got into Heavy Metal, because I got, I, I've read that before I got into Heavy Metal, and Heavy Metal talks about, like, H.P. Lovecraft, Elder Gods, Cthulhu, you know, it's interesting stuff. Okay, next, we're gonna go with something that's really close to metal, actually. Horror movies. Uh, I brought in a few. I brought in uh, Friday the 13th, 1 through 8. I don't know why this one didn't have 9 and 10. Uh, I'll probably buy those later on. Uh, 10 is one of my favorite movies, but I'd have to say either the first one or the second one is my favorite Friday the 13th. The original Children of the Corn. Uh, I love a lot of Stephen King's work. Uh, I have a couple books by him, but this has got to be... One of my favorite Stephen King movies. Um, it was another really good one. I don't think I've got it here. No, I don't. But I liked it too. Um, I liked. I liked a lot by him. I liked Carrie. I liked uh, Christine. I liked Shining. I like. I haven't seen Doctor Sleep, but I want to see. I like Pet Cemetery. I actually, on the book for that one. Pet Cemetery has got to be one of my favorites. For a book report, they actually required us to dress. It was like, not required, it was like, you can get more points if you dress as a character from the book. I dressed as Pascal. Uh, Pascal was the boy who got, the runner who got hit. So I wore red, uh, like basketball running shorts, a white shirt, and a white jacket. Uh, and that was it. That was the closest thing to my character without doing all the gore and stuff. I don't think school would appreciate it. First Chucky, uh, this, uh, I don't remember exactly what I bought this, I think we saw it and we were just like, eh, we'll watch it. It was actually a pretty good movie. Um, I haven't seen the remake yet, so I can't give my opinion on that. I think it's going to be good. I'm I'm liking who they got to voice it. I'm sad it's not Brad Dorf, but Mark Hamill is a replacement. But Brad Dorf will always hold a place in my heart. And. A little backstory on me in horror, I've been watching horror movies since I was like four. Um, I don't remember my first horror movie, but I've been watching them since. I can remember certain scenes, uh, verbatim, and it's just, yeah, it's neat. Next. The original Halloween. Um, probably... One of my favorite slasher movies, I would have to say, if we're counting Hellraiser as a slasher, uh, still not Hellraiser, I don't know. But I think Halloween's probably my favorite slasher movie. Um, maybe Scream, I don't know. But yeah, this is a really, really damn good movie. It created the slasher genre. The only one before this that kind of did something like this was Black Christmas. And I don't own that one. Uh, DVD. Next, Jordan Peele's Us. This was a very interesting movie, very intriguing. I like the concept behind it. Um, and honestly, it gives people a really cheap idea for a Halloween costume. You buy a red jumpsuit, and that's about it. You buy a red jumpsuit and a fake pair of golden scissors. I think that's it. That Oh, oh, uh, brown leather gloves. Don't forget those. And then you put like makeup on or wear a mask or um, dirty up your hair, make yourself look different a little bit. Make yourself look a little disheveled, I'd say. 
last one, probably the most metal movie. Um, I'm saying that because of the soundtrack. Freddy vs. Jason. And I saw this one was when I was younger, so it probably was another reason for me liking heavy metal music. Uh, this movie had a really awesome soundtrack. A lot of people would complain because it's like, oh, it's suspense breaking. Well, this movie wasn't supposed to have suspense. You're having two of the biggest horror icons fight each other in a battle to the death. What do you expect? You expect there to be suspense, like them creeping around, fighting each other? No, you wouldn't want that. You want them slashing and hacking at each other. That's exactly what you got, and it was great. Next in my collection, let's go with something a little more lighthearted. Star Wars. This was a book I found on Stormtroopers. It, it's about all the backstory to it. it. Shows Stormtrooper models and stuff. The Imperial Walkers, them in cartoons. You know, it's a history all the way up to seven, actually. Um, but it, it tells you a lot. It's very informative. Um, I saw it at a thrift store. Couldn't pass up the opportunity to have it. It was like originally in United States dollars. It's forty-five dollars. Uh, I got it for ten. So it was a steal, and I was just like, eh, yeah, why not? Got it, and I always put it up there between that little Christmas tree and Skeleton in the Cage. Star Wars, yeah. Let's... Sorry about that. Heard someone playing music, and I was just like, oh, just made me make sure they don't walk by my door. Had to capture the footage. <clears throat> Next in my collection, WWE. I collect the figures, and I picked out just two. I have four. Uh, my other two are uh, Shayna Baszler, she's newer, and Alexa Bliss. And both of them have titles. I only have one in my collection that doesn't have a title. I'm holding him in one of my hands. This one's Daniel Bryant. Um, he has on the Wooden Nature title, which was pretty interesting. He was the career highlights were like WWE Championship. World Heavyweight Champion, Intercontinental Champion, The Planets Champion, defended his eco-friendly championship against Kofi Kingston before the Fickle Masses at WrestleMania 35. And he was part of a series that had Triple H, Aleister Black, Elias, Grand Metalik, and Kairi Sane. Now, if you, now, even if you're not a fan of um, wrestling, I suggest you check out Alistair Black's entrance. It's based on Watain. And it's got Incendiary doing the music. Um, if I was, I would have picked something harder. I found a song that might go over it, but I'm, I'm going to check by doing it myself later. But Satyricon's King might have worked. But we might need something more slow and menacing black metal, because I think that would fit with him. Um, my other figure is Finn Balor as the Demon. Which was a pretty interesting pickup. This is my most expensive figure, uh, 30, and it's got him with an alternate head, alternate hands, a uh, cape that he wears, I believe. I don't know where he wears it though. I'm not certain of that myself, actually. It's got his headpiece that makes him look like he has like long red, black, silver hair, and it's got uh, hand pieces that dangle. So. It is a pretty neat figure, um, honestly. I really like this one, so they both sit up in my closet. I'm gonna have to put all this stuff back, and I should realize it. Last but not least. Disney and Mickey. I'll just put that as its own two categories. But I pulled out two shirts, but I've got more Disney stuff, as you can see back there. But yeah, I've got, this one's from a crew, uh, the Disney cruise I went on April of last year. It was a really good cruise. And this is a shirt I got from Funko Pop of three of them. And it was Steamboat Willie, Fantasia Mickey, and just a regular Mickey. So, or Conductor Mickey, actually. That's just him from Classics. That was an Amazon exclusive. I actually have two that are exclusive. I have a Disney Parks exclusive Funko Pop of the Collector in Gold, uh, t -Bon. And I have the Mickey's three of them, and they're all Amazon exclusives. I have a Dio from Star Wars Funko Pop, and I have a Rob Zombie Funko Pop. Now, I've liked Disney since before horror. Disney is the thing I've liked the longest, and I will never stop liking Disney. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Check out the music in the description below. I know it's metal, and I just did that because it's the only music I'm actually allowed to use. Anyways. <laughs> um, I w um, go to my Facebook page if you want to see the more YouTube-related stuff. I haven't posted in a while on there, so I'm probably going to post something today. And also check out my Instagram page for my more personal life. And just patch posting and stuff. You want to see anything before anybody else sees it? There's your place. And I reckon the album, I think, will be Karak Angan's Lamenda. I love that album. It's, it's a pretty good album. Um, I haven't listened to it fully. I've listened to all but one song, and that's a bonus song. And it's just a really enjoyable album. I think you should listen to it. Pretty good black metal, and I, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!